G'day guys, how you doing? And if you've been following me for a little while, you would uh, know about the progression of my uh, 3D printed parts for my Rasa um, A telescope in regards to the mostly the cable management and star diffraction spikes. However, since then it's been developing, developing, and I want to try and make the Rasa 8 a little bit more user friendly for us, especially when it comes to calibration frames. So this is why I've been developing my modular um, system basically for my Rasa 8 and I've been trialing it for a little while now some slight tweaks to it but it is uh, going along really well and if you want to know you can change filters with it um, as well I've been doing it with the beta um, FCCT changing filters it's very tight but it can be done and I'm going to uh, change this crosshair uh, section just slightly um, to make it just a little bit more user friendly now, we're not talking about this, we're talking about what I have right here, which is my developed uh, flat panel. It is still in development, uh, a bit of testing still to go. I have used it on uh, my recent image, which uh, is this one right here, the Helix Nebula. Um, I did use this uh, to produce my flat frames for all my color channels. So as I had finished um, shooting those, those channels, um, I will just quickly throw this on the, the front of the telescope and shoot my flat frames. Now it is uh, connected to uh, a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter um, for power. However, I would eventually like to use that as a USB uh, type powered device. So that way you can just plug it into a, a USB socket and hopefully it will power it. Hopefully. I don't know yet. That's further down the, the track. But at this stage, uh, I think I'm just going to stick with the, uh, the cigarette lighter. Um, uh, adapter at this uh, this point I do want to add in a, uh, a dimming um, control as well to it so that way I can control the uh, the, the, um, the brightness of the of the unit itself it is quite bright so the uh, flat frames were extremely quick um, being an f2 optics everything's brighter uh, and your exposures are always so much quicker so um, yeah but it's, as I said, it's just a prototype. Um, don't look too much into it, but it is working. And, uh, and for me, the, uh, it, it was get, is creating that sort of flat uh, light. So we can keep, uh, produce <laughs> the, um, the vignette in our system, as well as uh, the dust and any sort of uh, other um, light fall off type. Uh, issues so that way our images can come out uh, a lot cleaner and a lot nicer now I'm trying to develop this system this whole system here so that way I don't have to touch the cameras anymore the only the only thing I need to do with a, a touch camera is rotate it depending on the uh, the sort of image I'm shooting and the sort of composition and field of view um, or mosaic that I'm doing uh, but basically everything else needs to be um, uh, the less fiddly the less play around less uh, you need to play around with it the quicker the setups times going to be so what i'm going to do um and before you may notice uh this does have a great big hole in the back of it um the reason for that is so that way i can um, just visually see what's going on as well as to uh, help develop um this item uh, this flat panel here uh now so to give you an idea basically um Pretty simple. I mean, with everything all in place, it just pops straight over and straight on, like so. And it's that simple to be able to shoot um, calibration frames. And uh, when you when you're done, pops straight off, and you're uh, ready to either change your filter and uh, keep uh, imaging, or uh, call it a, a night. Um, for your imaging uh, session and that way you now have your calibration frames or your flat frames taken on the same night and uh, the same everything before having to pull the whole system down maybe and, uh, and maybe sit it in front of a panel or, or something like that to um, or a computer screen or however it is you uh, you may have uh, attempted to uh, shoot your flat frames. So what I'll do is I'll uh, quickly turn it on and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so hopefully you can see that it is now on um, and I have a really nice flat uh, light across the whole uh, um, the whole panel as such. 
Uh, I would like to um, just add a little bit more lighting to this system um, here and, uh, and slightly tweak the, the uh, internal design of it. Um, this is the reason why I've got this big hole in the back so I can, I can see uh, sort of a little bit more what's going on. Well, there it is. It's getting to the point of almost being fully developed. Uh, just a little bit more testing to do and a little bit more tweaking. And I think we're pretty much set for uh, this whole modular system to help the uh, help the use of shooting calibration frames and uh, not just flat panels, darks and everything like that with the RAS A8 system because it is very challenging having the camera sitting on the front to do your calibration frames and as we know calibration frames are also a big part of astrophotography and trying to get the very best out of your images. If there is anything extra you feel that I need to add to this um, flat panel unit, uh, please let me know. Uh, so that way, while I'm trying to develop the item as it is, um, I might be able to try and incorporate maybe a little bit of that into it as well. Like I said, there's gonna be a, a little bit more, hopefully a little bit more lighting power to this um, uh, unit, as well as uh, a dimmer switch to help adjust. So that way you can try and get the, um, um, a more precise imaging uh, um, medium, I should say, maybe, uh, in terms of your flat panel um, corrections or flat light corrections, flat darks, flats, <laughs> tongue twister. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, please, if you found this video helpful, um, give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've got any suggestions or comments. Uh, you can also jump across to my website. Um, there, there'll be a forum going for this unit here as well. So if you've got any uh, questions and concerns, you can also reach out to me there too. All right, guys. So that's it. Uh, don't forget to hit that, that subscribe too. If you're new and you haven't seen any of my other videos, check them out. All right, guys. That's it. So until next time, guys. Catch you later. And happy, happy, happy rassering.